Daily Devotion Read Philippians 4 6-7 God's Way of Answering Prayers A Testimony of Glenn and Jane Ong August 16, 2019 The day Ong family found out that Jane was pregnant. It was a special day. A gift of life. A new beginning. Yet it is the same day of Jane's dad's first birthday in heaven. Jane and Glenn were both excited and anxious. With three wonderful girls. They wanted and prayed for a boy this time. They even had a name for him. Their nightly prayers always included. Lord. We pray for a healthy pregnancy. Safe delivery. And a healthy baby boy. Months passed. They discovered that God did not grant them a baby boy. Nevertheless, they believed that God knows what is best for them. And He had a better plan. God answers their prayers with yes, no, or wait. They chose to submit to His wisdom. As many of us know, all our plans were put on hold when the news of the pandemic broke out in February of 2020. By mid-March, Manila and other key cities were placed under lockdown. Businesses were closed. Schools were suspended. And visits to the doctor were made by appointment. Jane's doctor did not want to see her unless it was urgent due to the risk of contracting the dreaded virus. They were quietly worried because of the uncertainty. She underwent induced labor for their first three girls. Which meant she was admitted in the hospital even without active labor. This time, the couple was unsure if it was safe at all to go to the hospital to give birth, especially when most of the hospitals are in maximum capacity due to its rising numbers of COVID patients. While all these things bombarded their minds, God was quietly working and made sure that everything will be prepared, because He equipped everyone around them to be ready when it was time for Jane to give birth. Her doctor was in full battle gear and took good care of her from the time she was admitted in St. Luke's Medical Center until she was discharged. There was no other companion allowed in the delivery ward to limit the chances of someone entering with the virus. Although Glenn could not be with his wife, God kept her company during labor and delivery. God allowed her to depend on him and manage the pain instead of worrying about Glenn not being with her. Soon after, Jira Caitlin was born at 5.25 p.m. on April 9. Although their pediatrician caught the virus last March, God arranged a well-known pediatric pulmonologist to oversee her newborn daughter. All newborn tests and vaccination shots were done within 24 hours so they can go home as early as possible. God made sure that she was discharged immediately. She was admitted at 10 a.m. of April 9 and was released at 6 p.m. the same day. Why worry when God assures us that He will always take care of everything? It may not be according to our plans, but His plans are still better. When Jane and Glenn received a no from Him, they choose not to dwell on it. His no will always be better than our yes, because God never makes mistakes. They decided to look at the bigger picture and count their blessings. Grateful that God has their best interests at heart. Reflection God hears our prayers. He has three answers. Yes, no, or wait. The yes response is our favorite because it shows that what we asked for is part of His will. While the wait revelation tests our patience and faith. On the other hand, accepting the no answer from God may be difficult. But after that, we will understand how His plans are always better with these different answers. May we put our trust in God by submitting, thanking, and waiting for His perfect timing. Prayer Lord Jesus, we thank You for preparing everything for us, Your children. You are showing that You are our Father who will provide things that we need. Lord, enable us and remind us to be submissive on Your plans in our lives. Help us to be grateful and empower us by your Holy Spirit to trust in you. In Jesus' name. Amen.